emails this week talking about marketing in the week and look at what to do when your business is in crisis when there's no money coming through the door when the rug's been pulled from under you on monday i talked about breathing reflecting returning to your values on tuesday I talked about turning your marketing upside down, focusing on your existing customers, then your prospects, then the people who've never heard of you. I then focused in on what to do with those existing customers with some practical tips and hints about what to be doing now. Then I looked at what to be doing in terms of prospecting and really focusing on referral um, connections and strengthening those referral partner connections. And today I want to talk to you about generating awareness and leads. Now, there's lots to be done in the Watertight Marketing Framework with regards to generating awareness and leads. So on the poster behind me, you'll see that we've got our bucket, our funnels, our taps, which is our three areas that we focus on in the Watertight Marketing Methodology. Bucket, existing customers, funnels and filters, those people in a sales conversation, taps, people who have heard of you. Now, in the taps area, which is what most people call marketing, there's lots of stuff to be getting on with and you will have seen people doing this because in the last couple of weeks people have gone taps crazy they've been screaming at the world about going online and how to use zoom and here's a crisis checklist um you know getting out on social media uh, doing webinars with people on all of that stuff now i want to just kind of um say there's a balance in a crisis mode between keeping the lighthouse going and not being irrelevant. So um, you don't switch the lighthouse off because no ships have sunk. So you do need to keep a lighthouse going, a, a drum beat or a heartbeat of um, awareness activity so that people know that you're there, they know that you're open for business. So it is important to keep a lighthouse of activity going that keeps people aware that you are there, you still are up and open for business and what you do. And it's that and what you do that's particularly pertinent, I think. What I wouldn't be doing at the moment is um, jumping on the bandwagon of creating content about stuff that isn't directly relevant to the vision that you have for your business after the end of this crisis. Now, if you can get your cash flow to the place where you can get things on tick over for a few months and you can keep in mind the vision of the business thereafter, then you need to be creating awareness from the right kind of clients who are going to sustain you financially and in your soul um, after the end of this crisis rather than just cash now. So I would be creating content of substance now about that yesterday. Um, take real care to think carefully about creating some content that has real substance and demonstrates what you're truly good at rather than just writing randomly about coronavirus um, and a random selection of hints and tips. It has to be tangibly linked to what it is that you do um, and particularly what you want to be doing you know, in the vision for your business when the economy comes back to life. Because what you don't want to be doing is generating a whole load of awareness and leads and a database full of people who are going to swamp your business with the sort of work that's actually going to pull your business down um, in, in the long term. So create some content of substance that's directly related to what it is you do now and keep the lighthouse running with that. So make sure you've got something worth saying before you start saying it. Then commit to that heartbeat of activity. So sit down, go through um, a timetable and make a timetable of stuff that you're going to be doing for generating awareness on a regular basis. Are you going to, with your content of substance, are you going to do a two minute tips video on LinkedIn each week? Are you going to tweet three times per day? Whatever it might be put together a rhythm and it really is a heartbeat or a lighthouse. These are the two concepts that are used quite interchangeably. And it's really important that during times of crisis, you don't go completely quiet. You do want to um, stay visible. Now, Joe Rathbone, um, sorry, Sam Rathbone, um, the LinkedIn expert, shared a fantastic story on her LinkedIn status the other day that she'd been researching for a keynote. And she looked at Kellogg's in the time of the Great Depression. So Kellogg's was, um, was a lesser known brand at the start of the Great Depression in the 30s in the States. The Corn Flakes brand that was well known was a brand called Post. And um, she shares the story that during the Depression, Post stopped advertising and Kellogg's bought up all the cheap space and advertised 
sleazy and came out of the depression with um, increased profits and their number one spot which they maintain to this day now that shows two things the first is that you don't stop um generating awareness when times are and two, that there are some great deals to be had. So take um, time to research some of the paid media deals at the moment, because there are going to be some brilliant deals. But use it to um, draw attention to your content of substance. Don't go generating awareness from crisis customers. And that's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about today. So there's a key concept um, in the uh, I'll put that over here, don't I? In the watertight marketing book. So this is the considered purchase continuum. So it goes from impulse to considered. So at the impulse end, you've got things like Kellogg's cornflakes. You see it, you buy it. It's on the shelf. You reach out, you put it in your basket, and you don't you don't look at case studies about cornflakes before you buy cornflakes. Up at the considered end are the sorts of things that you normally buy through a process of stepping stones and points of pause and reflection. Now, if your products and services are usually bought like this, so somebody is weighing up their choices, evaluating, checking out case studies, doing procurement, whatever it might be, but slowly considering their purchase. But because of crisis, they show up like this, so they buy from you quickly, then it's worth remembering that they're not a real customer, they're a crisis customer. And a crisis customer, and I'm going to be a bit crass now, but it makes the point, a crisis customer is like a one night stand. A crisis customer is someone who had an itch to scratch. There you were, um, but it doesn't mean that you're married. And if you behave like you're married when someone uh, when when it's a one night stand, then it's a really it's a bit creepy. And so if people are buying from you in crisis at the moment, they're um, reaching out and um, kind of in urgency and in a sense of panic, purchasing what you have to sell, then take care not to assume that those people are loyal customers of yours. You were just there in a crisis. And so what you need to do with those customers, first of all, um, be mindful that they're going to drop as quickly as they came on board. A crisis customer is not a loyal customer and um, they are there for as long as the crisis lasts. So be re don't go doing cash flow projections on this massive boost of activity you've had if those purchases are crisis purchases. The other is that if you're giving free content away and people are getting your free content in crisis then they're probably never going to buy from you um, so please don't assume that they're going to and then the third is to think about the proportion amongst those crisis customers that could be converted into loyal customers and you need to do that in the normal way that you would by taking them through content of substance um, intelligent conversations a process of reflection through the logic sandwich in chapter three of watertight marketing so have a think about whether your database is currently filling up with crisis customers um, and be really mindful about that. Um, so let me recap on what I've said today. The first is that you don't switch the lighthouse off because no ships have sunk. You need to keep that lighthouse or that heart of awareness activity going so that people know that your business is there. Create content of substance that's tangibly linked to the vision that you have for your business in the long term so that you're not generating awareness and interest from people who are not going to support the long term health of your business. Be really mindful of crisis customers. Crisis customers are not loyal customers and if they are going to become loyal customers you now need to take them through the process of normal reflection that they would go through to become a loyal customer of yours so don't make normal um, uh, proje projections in terms of the conversion rate from um, crisis freebies as to normal freebies mm. um, and make sure that you're researching the media opportunities that may now be available because there might be some great deals to be had that could mean that you come out the other end of this you know ahead of the game and really having generated phenomenal awareness for your business that's it from my five videos this week i hope they've been they've been helpful massive hug from me loads of love we can get through this